I think what's really important is that a person feels accepted and they feel safe um, because um, this is happening for a reason. So if somebody isn't speaking, it's, it's happening for a reason. And um, whilst it, it's important to meet the person where they are, so, you know, if it's a child that's absolutely stunned into their own silence, we need to help them with that. But how we help them with that might not start off by looking at speaking. So I think, um, you know, I speak to a lot of parents who can feel very out of control and the way that they try and take control, the way that they try and help is say, come on, speak to me. I, I want to hear what you've got to say. And actually that person can communicate what they want to say without saying, without actually speaking. And um, so for me, I would very much say that a person needs to feel safe. They need to feel understood. And they need to find their own ways of communicating. I think we have to be very um, aware to not reinforce the idea of um, perpetuating safety behaviours. Silence is, is one of them. But to enable um, the, the person to make the changes that they want to make. And, you know, a good question to start with might be, um, like, do you want to? Do you want to talk right now? Is that something you want to work towards um, and establishing where that person is in that relationship? So you're on the same page at the same time. Um, and you can do that in a number of different ways, you know, flashcards or, or writing or, you know, or eye movement and all those kinds of things. Um, so I think, I think safety and relationship is really, really important, but I think everybody's different. And um, I think it's about, you know, taking the time, to understand that in that given moment and seeing it as an opportunity because some of the most the deepest connections we can develop between um, other humans can happen in those moments of silence so not to be afraid of them really um, because if we're supporting someone you know especially kind of parents or teachers we can we can perpetuate the fear by being scared ourselves whereas actually we can um, you know we can embrace that person and all that they are and and help them um, we just have to see the opportunities as they're presented to us